flight flutter test, for the first time, we accelerate the aircraft at high speeds, beyond operational ones. Several flights are planned for this campaign, and each one requires a lot of effort of all people involved. Prior to each flight, all test details are briefed by the flight engineer who will conduct the test sequence. In these tests, we are pushing the flight envelope up to the ultimate design airspeed. This is the first and maybe the last time we'll be doing that in the entire life of this airplane. The aircraft performing the test is a prototype of the Embraer E195 E2. First, the prototype is stabilized in level flight condition at a high altitude, around 40,000 feet, for example. Then the pilots push the aircraft into a dive. As the altitude decreases, potential energy is exchanged for connect energy and the prototype begins to accelerate up to the ultimate design speed. During the campaign, we fly up to a Mach number around 0.9, which means being very close to the sound barrier in the air. Since we are very close to the speed of sound, local shock waves are developed in the aircraft structure and the vibration levels in the cockpit and cabin increase considerably. The airplane's behavior is continuously monitored online from our telemetry room by using a different set of transducers distributed on the entire airplane and the associated structural response, the dynamic response of airplane, can be analyzed in real time. After each flight, the aerolastic engineer team analyzes all the data to determine the airplane's aerolastic characteristics and a clearance is given to the next flight where the airplane will fly in a higher speed. This process is repeated several times, step by step, up to reach the maximum design air speeds and Mach numbers. This is a high-risk test and, therefore, several areas in the company are involved to complete these flight tests. A number of risk minimization measures are taken. First, to make sure that the most critical conditions are achieved in a very controlled manner. During the flutter test, the crew must wear helmets and parachutes and be ready to promptly evacuate the aircraft should any loss of control happen during flight. In addition, several flights under less severe conditions are done in order to perform a gradual approach to the most critical condition. Also, during the test, a second aircraft flies in coordination with the E-195 E-2 in a tactical frequency, always alert to any structural damage or parts detachment during the dives. The E-195 E-2 performs very well during the flight flutter testing and the results found are very close to the theoretical predictions, so we are very happy. <laughs>